Screen capture is a task which we have to do very often and it is very easy to do. There is a print screen button on your keyboard which you press and you get the screenshot. And generally screen capture means taking an image of whatever is displayed on your screen whether it's a PC or a laptop. But what if you want to capture the entire web page and in most cases the entire web page is not displayed on your screen. So therefore print screen button will not work. So what is the solution? The solution is go full page which is a browser extension which works on Chrome and Microsoft Edge browsers. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can use go full page browser extension to capture the entire web page with a single screenshot and save as a PDF. It is very simple to use and it is free. So let's get started. First I will show you how to install on Google Chrome and then I will also show you how to install this browser extension on Microsoft Edge browser. So for Google Chrome you type Chrome store in your browser and press enter and click on this Chrome web store and in the search area type go full page press enter and this is the browser extension that we have to install. So I click on that and then I click on add to Chrome. I can see this message and I click add extension and now I will see this welcome screen. I can close this and close this as well and now this button has changed from add to Chrome to remove from Chrome and if I click on this icon extensions I can see that go full page is now available. So I pin this to my browser window and this camera icon appears here and now I open a new window to open a web page. And now I open the web page which I want to screen capture. So this is a web page from one of the websites which I normally visit. It's about e-learning and it's a long web page. As you can see that I have to scroll down and the entire web page is quite long. Now to capture this entire web page with go full page, I simply click on this camera icon and then this Pacmania thing will appear and it is trying to scroll the web page and make a screenshot. And now this is the screenshot of this entire web page that I am able to get with a single click. Now it looks quite thin so I can click on that. Now I can see in its actual size. Now I can right click and I can save this as PDF or I can save this image in any of the image formats. So if I click on that and now this Chrome extension is asking for additional permission to be able to save this image into my download folder. So I can allow this and now as you can see that a PNG image will be saved. So I can save a PNG image. Also I can right click and save as PDF and I can also click on this download PDF. So I click on that and now I click save. I can also have a look at this PDF and this is how this entire web page has been captured as an image file as well as as a PDF and this is fantastic because now you can share the entire web page with your students if you are a teacher or if you find an interesting article or a blog post you can save them in your library as a PDF file. And now I have opened Microsoft Edge browser and if you want to install in this browser then what we are doing is that you type Microsoft Edge add-ons and this is the website you click on that and in the search bar you type go full page. This is the add-on for Microsoft Edge and because I have already installed it I can see this remove but you will see a get button here. You click on get and go full page browser extension will be installed on your browser. And now here is another my favorite website which I normally visit to read blog posts. And now again just like Chrome we have this extension icon in Edge. I click on that and I click on go full page with simple one click this browser extension has captured the complete web page. Again I can have a look at this and I can save this as a PDF. Save as and I can click on this to open the file and this is the web page as a PDF. So that is it for today. I hope this will help teachers and students to prepare their presentation or any other content. So I hope that you like this short video. If so please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.